Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a bus bar bending, punching, cutting machine. It is the ES125, made in Turkey by DTR. Let's have a look at some of these features of this mobile portable bus bar machine. The ES125 is powered by a 240 volt hydraulic pump. It is connected with a control cable from machine to pump and with this machine comes a foot switch or a hand switch which is altered like a tub. If you're using the foot switch, put it in the foot switch mode. If you're using the hand switch, select the switch over to the hand position and you're ready to go. Comes with a circuit breaker for protection of the circuitry inside the pump. Now this machine is capable of bending, punching and cutting up to 125mm high bus bar, 12mm thick and it comes with numerous attachments. We're going to kick off with the bending mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the two bending shoes that it comes with. So with the machine we've got two bending radius options. The first one is a 5mm bending radius. The second one is a 10mm bending radius. That's the radius, and this is what we call the foreman shoe. We're going to bend a bit of copper bus bar, and we're going to choose the 10mm bending radius. So let's see how it goes. So here we go, I'm going to show you how to put the, the bending radius and the bending shoe in. The bending shoe slides in there, like so. The bending radius has got two locating bolts that also slide down to that channel there. As easy as that. Now I've just got a piece of spare bus bar here. I'm just going to rub a tape over it. It's 100mm and it's 10mm thick. So with bending a piece of 100mm bar, you'll notice that on the side of here, on both sides of the hydraulic ram, we've got a tape measure. One is bending cutting, and one is punching. It's got a tape measure. So if we're going to bend a piece of 100 mil bar, we want to bring that down to 100 mil. How we do that is by our wheel here at the front, and we wind it down until we get to a hundred mil level with the platform. Okay, so I'm going to put a piece of copper bar in there, like so, and we've got a small chart up here to help us. We're just going to perform a 90 mil bend and that 90 mil bend equals 29 mil, which is what we have along here. So we adjust that to 29 mil, like so, and we're ready to roll. You'll also notice that along here is a tape measure on both sides of the hydraulic rim. So if you want to bend in, say, 100 mil or 150 mil, that 15 engraved there will be from the centre to there. So if you want to perform a bend 150 mil in from the edge, you would have run your bar out to that point there, knowing that you're going to get an exact bend. Let's see how it happens. So as you can see, it's automatically cut the pump and we're pulling it out and there's our bend. Now that we've completed that little bending phase, we're going to move on to punching. Uh, so 
taking out the bending radius and the bending shoe is very easy. Just slide it up like that. So here we've got our punching head where we insert the punch and dies. The punches go into this section of the head. The die will go into this section of the head. Let's have a look at how many dies, punch and dies we get with the machine. So with the machine comes our five sets of punch and dies. We've got 6.6 millimeter for an M6 bolt, nine millimeter for an M8 bolt, 11 millimeter for an M10 bolt, 14 millimeter for an M12 bolt and 16.5 millimeter for a 16 mil bolt. Now we're gonna choose 11 mil and we'll show you how to put them in the holder and then we'll do some punching. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is insert the punch to there and it's got a locating pin and then I'm going to do it up at the back with the Allen key to hold the punch into place. Like so. And then the die. Oh, just by the way, the sharp edge of the die needs to be facing towards the punch. Like so. And just hold the retaining screw. And we're ready to drop it straight back in to the slot. Excellent. Now, performing this punching, I've just got a small piece of bus bar here. It's 100 mil wide by 10 mil thick. And I'm gonna perform some punching smack in the middle, and then I'm gonna punch a hole 20 mil up on both sides. Let's do the hole in the middle first. So what I'm gonna do is lower the punching head till we get to the 50 mil mark on this side. So, now guide your bar in. Once again, you've got some uh, tape measures on e either side, which you can use as a punching guide. Automatically retracts once your punching is completed. And there's our hole. Now that should be 50 mil in on the edge. Rightio. So now I'm going to punch two, two holes, 20 mil up from each side. We want to lower our punching cylinder down to 20 mil, like so. And let's go back in for the kill. And then again. fast as that. Let's move on to bus bar cutting. This is our guillotine or cutter and you'll notice that this side here of the blade is longer than this one and that's because it has to locate down the groove like that. So let's put it in. Now once again, we're using a 100mm piece of bar and we want to wind it, our handle, down to the 100mm section, like so. So it's cutting evenly on the bar. And that's it folks, beautiful cut, slug comes out the back there, very straight 
cut with very minimal touching up to do. So that's it folks. We had a look at our mobile bus bar bending punching cutting machine capable of doing bar up to 125 by 12 mil and portable in the workshop can be taken out on site this one is ideal for switch for builders big or small and if you want more information on it drop us an email on sales at uttco.com.au or visit our website on www.uttco.com.au Thanks for watching and we'll see you again.